What's up, guys? It's Zed, and this is episode 8 of the FIFA 22 player career mode. Well, we're using Conrad Zahn, and this is his story to greatness. He's currently on six goals in 11 matches. I mean, it's it's not what you know we would want to be on, it's not our target. We want to be like 10 goals or 11 goals in 11 matches because that's exactly how it was at Dortmund. But I mean, it's still something and well i think in this episode we're probably going to be getting the fuck out of this team there's one more international match to play before we go back into the normal season but before we go into the next matches for sc braga we're going to be facing finland in uh in their home as well that is where because we also faced ireland in their home the, the match against ireland was really tough but we were able to pull through for the team and we got our two goals that were able to get the team the victory. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's Finland. Right, so our match objectives for today are an 8.5 rating, or rather a 7.5 rating, so to get three passes in the opponent's half and score at least one goal. This is the easiest, so we're just going to enhance this one for this match. And so the match is underway. So Stegen stands between the posts. Lukas Klostermann plays with Antonio Rüdiger in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with... Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Oh, that is a superb save. And he's in. But can't avail himself of the chance. Will he be disappointed with that? Leon Maybe. Goretzka. Fruitful looking attack. And here's Neuhaus. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Will that never look like trouble in the... He's showing a real will to win the ball. Florian Neuhaus. Zan. And back with Goretzka. Could be. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. And here's Neuhaus. Sané. Philip Max here. Goretzka. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. A good and fair challenge. Promising move from Germany. Takes the shot. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. Could cross it in here. Opportunity. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and the strike could not... But are keeping their opponents moving and guessing. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And play to the front post, and foiled by the post. Flexes from the keeper and the danger of Ozzy and Neuhaus. Ginter. And here's Neuhaus on the attack. Is this to be late drama? Oh, fine save. And it remains all square. Well, he's... 
Alexander Ring. Okay, so that was that was a good match. Their keeper completely saved them on so many occasions. Like these international keepers are actually really, really good. So well we're able to get a goal so that's three goals in two games for germany and well not a lot of players have that in this club sorry this country this national team so and we didn't win the match this time we got all two of the managers ratings now they use the german coach for some reason it was the se braga manager the first time and it's still the se braga manager right now but it's the german's coach it's the german coach's face that it's that is on the picture there for some reason, my manager rating went all the way down to. It went that low though, so we are supposed to be playing just ten minutes of football. So I guess I actually don't know why. I don't know why that happened because we did pretty good in the match against um, Finland just now. But I don't know. I'm I'm just going to play the match like that because finally we are not playing as a right midfielder. That's the most irritating position in this team so it's our for playing and that's what we're okay with that to be honest all right so the match objectives are a 7.0 match rating get at least one goal and complete three passes in the opponent's half i'm going to enhance no i'm going to enhance the last one here and well let's see what's going to happen are we going to be able to get our goal finally Keeper reacted magnificently. Tomas Tavash. Tarat. Nunez. Grimaldo with it. Gives it a go. Really good diving save. Guilties. And problem solved for now. And Sergio. And it's with Raul. Perfectly positioned to take it. Will it happen for them? And this is Weigel. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, that is a superb save. Body in the way. All right. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not even going to try and be annoyed at this team because I mean, it's not, it's really not something that I should be wasting my time doing because they didn't have one single second of position of possession in this game. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever. I don't care if I'm in the reserves. I don't care at all about this team right now. So. Let's just move on with our lives and just get the hell out of this Portuguese league. Let's just do that. All right, so we just got to level 15 and we have four new skill points to add to our player. All right, I want to work on our agility right now. So I'm going to go for this one and well, I'll do the second one later. Next up is something with the shooting like it's actually really hard to actually pick which one I actually want with these. Uh, this one is basically headers and shit. And like I said, I really do not need headers and penalties right now. Hmm. I mean, I could definitely go for this short power and long shots. My yeah, my long shots need to be fixed. The the finesse the uh, finesse shot is really really fucked up because for some reason it goes really high, and I keep on thinking maybe it's because the long shots for the player is really bad, and I don't even have that perk that I normally used to have for the long shot. So I guess I'm just going to put that back. This one time shot is very useful, and well this this one isn't really useful at all. So I'm just going to go back to the one time shots. 
sorry, the distance shooter here. I got one new one though. I'm not sure if it's this one. Increases your heading up heading attributes during set pieces. Free kick corner. Well, well, this one is pretty nice, but I, I really don't need it for my player though. Then uh, I think I saw a new one that came in just now. I think it was this one, but I really don't need. It. So I'm just going to use the distance shooter and the one time shot for the perks. We are now a 78 overall, and we're still 18. We're almost, we're almost 18. So we're still 17. We're almost 18. That will be next year. I think his birthday is in December or either December or October. I am not sure. It might be even September. I have no idea. Well, let's see what the where the the coach is going to put us in this match. He's putting us in normal RF position. We're coming in the 55th minute, so there should be time to at least at least try and get something out of this team because our stats are like bleeding our stats are bleeding right now and they will make the change now all right so our match objectives are 7.5 rating complete three passes in the opponent's half and get at least two goals or assists well, I'm, I'm enhancing the one i'm enhancing the one with the three the passes and well let's just hope that we can actually this team can actually help us out in this match because that last match, <laughs> I have no idea what was even up with them. But the pressure escalating. Fabio Martins. Ricardo Orta. They could nudge in front. In it goes. The goal for 1 0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. And he cuts inside. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Is it going to be? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it. And the counter looks on here, options available. Zan. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. An alert intervention. Extremely sloppy in possession. Could be a chance to break here. He's in behind. And a goal to seal the hat-trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then threw on goal and just goes for power. Now, potential danger. Well, it looked like it might lead to something very... So all right, so that's the headline. Conrad Zan enters the match in the 55th minute, and he scores a hat-trick to, to, to give his team the win. And this is the best performance I have pulled ever since I came to this to this team. And I'm I'm actually happy for once that the service was actually good. We scored two similar goals. Two of the goals were pretty similar. So we were definitely the man of the match and we got the the match ball together with the three goals that we scored. And this honestly is the best performance we've pulled in this team and it's not because we just woke up. We have always been awake. The team just woke up in this match and were able to give us the perfect service that we actually needed to win matches. And I just pulled a hat trick and then the manager is coming to tell me that he's disappointed with what he has seen from me lately. I think this game is actually bugged. 
because this doesn't really make any freaking sense actually all right so we just made it into the starting level for this match and we are finally we are finally playing as rf from the beginning of the match we're not going to play the full match because i i want to like finish this episode fast because I, I want to try and get to the to um the end of the the end of the season by this episode it's kind of like far-fetched but let's just see if we're going to be able to do it one man the focus of attention a hat trick in his last game will he prosper once more we'll have the action on ea tv Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. Okay, so our match objectives are to get a 9.0 rating, wow. Get a team, position, get a team possession rate of at least 60% and avoid losing or drawing. Well, let's see what we can do in this match. Well, it doesn't make great reading for our hosts. Just look at this. It's the weakest attack in the league, and that's official. Well, I'm not surprised by their lack of goals. Their approach plays far too... Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. He's driven in the corner. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Speculative effort. Really good diving save. Zan. Ricardo Orta. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Well, that pass easy on the eye. A goal! 1 0. A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say the patience of the passing is outstanding. They're just waiting for the right time to penetrate. And when he gets... Over it comes. And the danger cleared. And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. Fran Sergio. Orta with it. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Opportunity and a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. But they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Crossing opportunity. Must be a goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. It's opening up for them. can see this is a wonderful strike he makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it it's a great goal to be, to be honest I, I i can't even with this team because they just lose guard from nowhere like from nowhere they just decide to not play good football in, anymore and they just like fuck up and fuck up and fuck up and everything just goes to shit and the thing that i was praising them in the previous match i really can't I really can't be doing this. Like it's like a mix of emotions. We, we got the assist in the first half. We needed. We just needed the ball. We just needed the ball. All right, he's bringing us in the fifty seventh minute. This is, this will just be the last match for this episode against FC Porto, and uh, let's see if we can repeat what we did in the last match that we came came on the fifty seventh minute. I mean, it's not. It's really not possible because this is FC Porto. Like. It's not possible at all. Like, there's no way that this team is going to give me the chances against FC Porto. Like, it's just not happening at all. All right, so our match objectives are a 7.5 rating. 
have, have to make five passes if the opponents help and a 35% dribble success rate. I think it's raining outside. It's like where I am right now. So the corner played into the box. Just cutting off the supply. Far from a good pass. Jesus Corona. Sends it back. Can they cover up? And the keeper more than equal to the task. Into that through ball, the goalkeeper. Now will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Ruiz. Can he find the net? And the keeper more than equal to it. And the substitution. Will it happen for them? Nothing. Nothing really. Nothing really happened at all. Like I don't even. Ah, oh, good. You guys, you guys saw that chance that I was so free. I was so free into the box, and the guy decided to hold the ball instead of releasing it to me. Like wh why? It's like I'm literally going to have to sim through all the matches in this team because I really cannot. I really cannot do this with this team. I I cannot do it to be honest. Like I cannot do it. I can't. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm basically just going to sim through all the matches and well let's just hope that we're able to get a couple of goals. But we do not in this one. We we actually lose the match. We actually lose the match. So we are uh, we just got brought into the match in the 84th minute and well like I said I'm I'm really not going to play any matches in this team anymore. They're just going to do whatever the fuck they want to do. We drew the match. Yeah, so this is the last match of the season. We're not, we're definitely, we are definitely not playing this match. Like, definitely not playing this match. Also, we just got a level up into Wait, what? Also, we're, so we're in level 14 before. So it means we just entered into 15 just now. And, well, we have six, six skill points. I think we should just use these for now. And uh, there was something I wanted to get, wasn't it? think it was this guy yeah so this will like get my stats way off the roof my short power is 95 how do I even get my long shots up the yeah I'll need I'll need all of that this one will get my short power to 99 <laughs> wow so there's going to be a rocket to my boots that's definitely what I'm going to be going for next uh penalties penalties i think i should start working on my penalties now but okay my passing is actually quite shit <laughs> and i and i actually neglected this a long ass time ago so i'm just going to start working on my passing now the good news is that we are now an 81 rated player we have nine goals in 17 matches our form is bad and we do not give a shit all right so we're supposed to come in the 78 minutes this is our last match at SC Braga. I am definitely not playing it. So we're going to jump to results. And we lose our last match. And to be honest, I actually do not care. Whatever these guys want to do, they should do. This is the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button. I mean, no, this... Like, I, I, I myself didn't enjoy this video. Because, to be honest, this team is just shit. And I'm just hoping that Burnley is going to be a lot better than this. Because we're going to be in the Premier League and we're going to be facing a lot of huge clubs. And uh, yeah, we're probably just going to spend half a season in Burnley to be honest. Because I have a feeling that this is going to repeat itself there. Because there's a lot of really, really, really heavy competition in the Premier League. Anyways, if you guys did like the video, make sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys when we are in the Premier League.
Peace.